Allison Allen, softball. Allison was a great hitter. You know, it's said that in baseball, you can always find a blind spot in the hitter. Some place they can't see the ball. Might be high and inside, might be low and away. But the pitcher can take advantage of that if they can make their pitch there every single time. That's why if you hit three out of 10, fairly, you're considered a superstar. Well, then there was Allison, Allen Ortega. These are career records. Her slugging percentage was 661. She had 700, 791 at-bats. She had knocked in 165 RBIs and scored 181 runs. She had 20, 59 doubles and 26 home runs during that time, and total bases, 483. So much for a blind spot. Now, people who study the science of hitting would say, well, how did she do that? Was it great reflexes? Was it eye-hand coordination? And the answer might go all the way back to her father. You see, when Allison was a precocious little child, she couldn't wait for her dad to come home so he would pitch to her and they could hit the ball. That's what she wanted to do. The problem with that was that her dad was a terrible pitcher. In fact, he rarely threw the ball close to her. Well, they didn't have money for her to go out to the batting cages, and there was no backstop. It was just a great big field that they would go out and do this exercise in. So they had one of two choices. He would throw the ball somewhat close, and Allison could wait and chase after the ball and throw it back and see if he would throw it closer, or she could hit whatever he threw and let him chase it. He did a lot of chasing. In 2010, she was the GLIAC Player of the Year. She batted 403 with 26 extra base hits. The Wayne State softball team went to the World Series that year. And the following year, in 2011, she had career single season records with 13 home runs, a 419 batting average, and a slugging percentage, one season, of 726. White a career. You know, her dad used to be a regular uh, visitor to the athletic complex when Allison played. Allison graduated from Wayne State at the age of 20. So you can imagine what a good student she was. Well, anyway, her father was kind of vociferous for his little daughter. And I asked her later, I said, did you ever hear your father when he was yelling? And she said, yeah, I heard everything he said. And I said, well, what did you do? She goes, well, sometimes it motivated me and sometimes I just ignored him. Spoken like a true daughter. Well, today, you can yell as loud as you want because Allison Allen Ortega is going into the Hall of Fame. Allison, stand up. Thank you, Rob. We'll now get started with the presentation and inductions. Uh, Allison Allen Ortega, would you please come forward? Ms. Ortega's citation reads in part, Allison Allen Ortega was a four-year softball letter winner, 2009 to 2012. A native of Redford, Michigan, she ended her career as the all-time Wayne State leader in slugging percentage, at-bats, runs scored, doubles, home runs, RBI, total bases, and intentional walks. She was a three-time all-gleac selection, four-time All-Region selection, and two-year All-American. As a freshman, she started all 56 games, leading the GLIAC in total bases. As a sophomore, was named both GLIAC Player of the Year and Midwest Region Player of the Year. Her junior and senior seasons included WSU records for runs scored, slugging percentage, and RBI. Allison earned her degree in ling linguistics and was a two-time GLIAC Commissioner's Award recipient for academic and athletic excellence, Finally, in six semesters, she earned a term GPA of 3.5 or higher and was a three-time GLIAC All-Academic Selection and a 2012 COSIDA First Team Academic All-American. Governor Bryan, President Wilson, Rob, it is my pleasure to present Allison Allen Ortega for her induction into the Wayne State University <laughs> Athletics Hall of Fame. Hello, 
everyone. Um, I'd like to start by quoting my favorite baseball player, Roberto Clemente. He said, baseball has been very good to me, and as I accept this award today, I'm reminded of the many great opportunities and moments in my life that have been afforded to me by playing softball. I have received an education, traveled, and made lifelong friends thanks to this sport, and I have many people to thank for making this possible. To start with, thank you to the Wayne State Athletic Department for choosing me to receive such an honor and for doing so much for me as a student athlete. I especially appreciate Pat Kent and Gary Bryce, my coaches at Wayne State, for taking a chance on me and recruiting me for this program after seeing just a few at-bats at a high school tournament. I want to thank the other softball programs and coaches who have helped mold my skills and experience over the years. This starts with the Redford City Program, Livonia Storm, and CompuWare Summer Programs, Mercy High School Softball and the late Jack Falvo, and Mike Kaj with the Midland Lady Explorers. To my teammates over the years, and especially in my four years at Wayne State, you gave me many memories and were constantly pushing me to improve as a softball player and a person. Thank you especially to Logan White, Stephanie Foreman, and Nicole Abel for being here today. My family, including my aunts, uncles, cousins, and grandparents, have been the greatest fans and supporters I could ask for. Cheering for me, following my team's performance from afar, and sending me so much love regardless of a win or a loss. My husband's family also welcomed me with open arms and has supported me in all that I do. They are also big baseball fans, so I knew I would fit right in. To my husband, Hector, I want to throw in a happy birthday. Thank you for celebrating me on your own special day. Hector has uh, never seen me play softball, um, but he supports me as I try to use the skills and knowledge that I receive from softball to become the best wife, mother, and speech pathologist that I can be. To my parents and my siblings, I don't think this speech could ever be long enough to thank you for the sacrifices and support. But uh, instead, I think I can sum it up by answering a question that people used to ask me a lot, which is, how did you hit that pitch? To quote Clemente again, I used to say that any pitch is a good pitch if I can hit it. But in seriousness, every hit had a history. And the history starts with myself and my brother Anthony and my sister Abby, loading up a batting tee and softballs into two milk crates into a wagon. Abby, you know the one I'm talking about and pulling it to the dirt field across the street from our house. Every day in the summer, sometimes twice a day, this was my routine. I hit balls off the tee and my brother chased them down. Eventually, my dad would come home after work wearing full hockey pads as protection. <laughs> and he would pitch to me, and it was the worst pitching that you've ever seen. <laughs> but I swung at everything, and excellence was a habit, a choice we made every day as we lugged all that old equipment out in the heat. This routine was far from glamorous, but it made me the player I am, and I wouldn't change it. My family never took a vacation. Instead, they followed my teams to tournaments. My mom stayed up washing my jersey and calming everyone down when I had a bad day. My brother was bat boy, and my sister sat under the bleachers, watching and wearing a pink helmet. My dad analyzed every pitcher and gave me all the baseball knowledge in his arsenal, which is a lot, and he pushed me. My dad got the reputation of being too hard on me, but looking back now, as a parent myself, I appreciate it. My brother just finished a successful career in college football, and my sister is a high school softball player. Both have surpassed me in both skill and knowledge, and it's because my parents always support the development of their children's interests. I would like to conclude with giving credit to my ultimate source of strength and guidance, which is God and my Catholic faith. Playing softball became a spiritual exercise by which I could give glory to Christ. Good day or bad day, I know that I was blessed to even have the opportunity to be on the field. Finally, I dedicate this honor to my daughter, Eulalia. Eulalia, I know that you are too young to understand this now, but this is a promise. I received this 